Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw, Editorial Director at TigerFitness.com and Muscle and Brawn Nutrition CEO. I look worse for the wear. Just got done squatting here on Sunday. Wanted to make a video about a program I call the Drunk Russian. Before I get into that topic, guys, I encourage you, if you have a question or comment, there's a Q&A link below. Post your questions in that Q&A link. I answer every question posted. The best questions I turn into a Q&A video, which you can find every Saturday on this channel. Now, back in the day when I first started messing around with full body workouts, I came up with a program, something I wanted to test that I call the Drunk Russian. This was a program that uh, focused, I took the idea of squatting every day and I decided to see if I could do a full body workout every day to see how the body would recover. Now, I'm not saying this type of program is optimal or more optimal than a full body. I wanted to see if I just did one set per per body part five days a week how my body would respond. That's simply it, just an experiment. So what I would do five days a week is I would go in and I would do one set of squats. Then I would go in and do a chest exercise. What I did exercise wise or rep wise varied each day. I just did what I felt like doing. So I might go in and hit a triple on bench press when I'm fresh on Monday. I would do this from Monday to Friday. On Tuesday, I might want to do incline dumbbell benches. On Wednesday, I might want to do flies and just take a break with an isolation. On Thursday, I might want to return to bench press but do a 15 rep set, etc. So I only did one set per exercise. I kept it intuitive, just did a variation that I felt like doing that day and a rep range, but I logged everything. So if I return to that exercise or rep range again, I tried to improve or tried to progress. So I do a set of squats, a chest exercise, a back exercise, a shoulder exercise. Then I would do something like leg curls, um, one set of leg curls, and then a quick arm um, back or excuse me a bicep and tricep exercise but with the bicep and tricep I would alternate so I wouldn't do both of those each day I would do biceps one day triceps another but I would keep it intuitive so I was working arms only two and a half times per day so again the structure of the drunk Ru Russian program was a squat set that was set number one, a chest set, a back set, a shoulder set, leg curls, and then I would do um, a bicep or tricep. So I was doing six total sets, a workout. The workouts went by pretty quickly. I trained five days a week, very low volume, weekly volume per body part. If you think about it, I was only doing five sets per legs per week, or 10 sets if you include hamstrings, five sets for chest, five sets for back. But I made very good progress. I ran this for a month. It was enjoyable. It was a fun experience. I made good progress. My joints actually felt better, believe it or not. I think because the volume was lowered, even though the frequency was there. So it was a very interesting program. It was a kind of program that I found out that it wasn't sustainable, obviously, but it was an interesting type of approach. And I think it's a good approach for those of you that are, what it basically hinted at is for those of you running full body workouts and you're doing the three sets per day and your workouts are getting a little too long in the tooth, it's okay to progress down to two sets or even take those deload days when you're just beat up or you're tired or whatever and only do one set per exercise. So you could still make good progress doing that. But if you ever want to try something really crazy, really crazy, try the Drunk Russian program. Don't go real. If you're going to do heavy sets on the Drunk Russian, I would recommend doing it on a Monday when you come in fresh. So maybe do a heavy triple or you know five rep set for squats or bench on the Monday, maybe on the following week. If you want to do heavy deadlifts or shoulder head or, or a shoulder press movement, you could do that. So you could kind of alternate your heavy weeks, but do them on Monday after a couple of days rest. So guys, I just want to talk about that program. And this video was an interesting experiment. It showed that the body could adapt really to anything as long as the volume is in play. A lot of guys will ask if you can do crazy stuff like this. And really you got to, you got to learn to balance volume, intensity, and frequency. You can really do anything in the gym as long as you have a good balance between volume and 
intensity and frequency. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, guys, there's a Q&A link below. Come on over, post your questions in that Q&A link. I answer every question posted. The best questions, again, I get I get turned into a Q&A video for Q&A Saturday. If you've made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. And if you want to connect with me on social, all kinds of social links below. So, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.